Yeah, I just want to show you what's going on today with this. Okay, this has been going on since October, November. Pulse is getting just very jumpy. I was outside, it was 50, 50 pulse, 56, and jumping 60 to 100, from 100 to 140, back down to 120, from 120 to 90. It's been jumping like this all the time. It just jumped from 60 to 110. And it's been jumping around like this all day long. Hospitals say it's anxiety. About eight trips to the hospital within over eight weeks and they say it's anxiety every single time. All the discharge paperwork here, I think I got nine discharge paperwork here for the past 90 days. 90 days, nine trips to the hospital emergency room. Discharge paperwork was seen, says on there, it was seen for anxiety. And it's actually not anxiety. Why would my cardiologist make me wear a heart monitor for 30 days? Okay, 30 day heart monitor for anxiety. I don't get it. I'm confused. They did an EKG at the hospital. They said everything looks fine. They did blood work at the hospital. Everything looks fine. But my cardiologist says, nope, it don't look fine. So who do you believe? What's going on with these hospitals? Are they just trying to blow me off to get me out of there? Don't want to treat me or what? I walked in with a high blood pressure, 229 over 190, and a high pulse rate of 190, and walked out without any treatment every time. They refuse to treat it, they act like it was normal. People come in here with higher than that, and they'll be just fine, okay? They, they refuse to treat it. It's like I'm thinking, like, what the hell? People tell me you're going to the wrong hospital because they hired them doctors off Craigslist. They're not really doctors or clowns, okay? It's like... They blew me off like nine times in 90 days. I'm like, unbelievable. I mean, what do you do? It's not anxiety. What the hell do you do? What's going on with these hospitals? Are they more worried about COVID patients than somebody that's got a heart issue? And it's not anxiety, I'm telling you. It's like, I don't know what the hell's going on. You know what I mean? They're tired of seeing me. You know, nine visits in 90 days. Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. <laughs> it's not anxiety, idiots. I don't know what's going on. Or the nurse walks in. How much Mountain Dew you drink today? About three, two liters of Mountain Dew? That's why your pulse is high? Or how much coffee you drink? A whole cup? 20 cups of coffee? Stay away from that caffeine. Well, I haven't drunk any caffeine today. And look at well, look what it's doing. And I do take beta blockers. Three to four a day. Three to four in a 24-hour period. And it still does the same thing. Okay? They changed my beta blocker medicine four times already see what i mean change the medicine change to do this do that well apparently it's not because it's been jumping like this for the past six months beta blockers are not helping all the beta blockers do is create some nasty side effects yes they do they create nasty side effects look them up on the internet ringing in the ears okay gas bloatiness constipation there's all kinds there's like a hundred side effects with beta blockers Yep, beta blockers are nasty. Hallucinations, peeling of the skin, hair loss, less interest in sex. The list goes on and on. You hear and see things that don't exist. So the medicine that starts messing with your mind like that, hallucinations, you know it's some wicked medicine. And it don't even work. I mean, it does because before my pulse rate would be 160, 170. But sometimes if I do too much, it gets up that way. Then if it gets high like that, then my blood pressure starts getting real high. And I hate going to the hospital because every time I go there, they say it's anxiety. Every single time. And you walk in with high blood pressure and high pulse rate and you walk out with it because they refuse to treat it. Every time. What in the hell is going on with these quacky quack doctors? I have no fucking idea. It's not anxiety. Cardiologist says something about tarchiata or inappropriate sinus tarchiata. But now... I think it's AFib because now it's jumping around. Three, uh, uh, eight days ago, it wasn't like this. It was just like a high pulse rate that wouldn't go down. Now it's like jumping all over the place for the past eight days. So now it turned into something else. I have no idea what's going on. You tell me what you think.